Welcome to StoppingFights.com, showing how to deal with conflicts positively and put together agreements, maintain relationships during crises, and soften verbal attacks. This video of the series shows how to relieve verbal attacks. To change the way a conversation is going, stop talking for a moment to listen and redirect the useful power of your anger from counterattacking to understanding the person, finding out more about the challenger to help you advocate for your needs. When attacked, you feel the useful power of your anger. Repressing your anger causes resentment that's like taking poison yourself and hoping that the other person will die. Instead, use the power of your anger to focus on solving the problem. Hey, you hit my car. I'm so sorry. Sorry? You're a sorry fool if I ever saw one. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. You're a broken record. A sorry, sorry idiot. If you hadn't parked so close to my car, I wouldn't have hit it. You need a lawyer, bird brain. That's the stupidest argument I've ever heard. Don't You're the criminal, not me. Don't make such a federal case out of it. It's only a nick. Only a nick. I saved for years to buy this classic convertible. My car cost me a fortune. Then you come along and scratch it. Blame brain! Look, I have to go right now. I have a very important I interview for a job that I, I'm really going to love. I have to go right now. Oh, aren't you just the hotsy totsy snootiest she-devil of all time? You think you can hit my car, then just drive away with your nose in the air. Woman, you're not going anywhere. If you touch me, I'll scream. If you scream, you're still not going anywhere. Ah! Breathe. Redirect reaction to understanding. You saved up to buy this classic car, and then I hit it. So, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to call my insurance agent and ask her if she can call you to set up an appointment to make an estimate for the repairs with you, and then it'll be as good as new. Oh, just forget about it. I have a vile touch-up pain in my glove compartment. What? In this simple situation, she broke the chain of counterattacks by breathing to let his complaint sink in. Then showed listening with you saved up for this classic car, then I hit it. Reflecting back the challenger's complaints. Showing him that he'd been heard gave him what he really needed. The communication that is much of what people need even in more complicated confrontations. Saying I'm sorry helped less than saying what she was going to do about it. Even if a challenger is using foul, painful language, redirecting the power of your anger to understanding the person relieves your pain because you're redirecting your power and focus from feeling pain to learning about the person, even though continuing to disagree. Trying to suppress the challenger's frustration completely only increases it, whereas allowing a challenger to vent briefly meets the person's emotional need without yet yielding an actual point. Instead of withdrawing from a challenger who is cursing, reflect back the complaint to show you have listened, meeting the person's need to be heard. If the foul language continues, then say, I want to solve this problem, so let's avoid cursing and name calling and attack the problem. Advice about what to do if someone in your daily life often yells for a long time. A page of tips for stopping fights and the text for this video are freely available at the website stoppingfights.com. If you don't like the way a conversation is going, stop talking and breathe deeply to give yourself a moment to choose to really listen. Reflect the venting that you're hearing to let the challenger know you're listening. Redirect the useful power of your anger from counterattacking to understanding the person even while disagreeing. Sense the common spark of life in both of you. Imagine what it's like to be the person looking out at the world through those eyes from that point of view. Become aware of more about the challenger and find out more about what's needed to help you advocate for your needs. In a relationship, always winning is losing if you lose your love.
Imagine different ways to improve the situation temporarily while exploring win-win solutions that meet some of the needs of both persons. The takeaway is stop to breathe deeply and listen. Redirect the power of your anger to understanding the person, then imagine different ways to improve the situation and solve the problem. Put briefly, breathe, listen, understand, imagine, solve. Everyone encounters challengers. The world needs to learn how to deal with conflicts positively. So please share this video as widely as possible or email the link stoppingfights.com and check out the further videos of the series. Yeah.